that's the surprise right there. That flathead, I live scoped that flathead in 36 foot of water. I had a fish hook just before this one, but he hit it, hit it good. That fish was suspended on a drop off out here when I caught him. If I can get that hook out of his mouth. I'm using a big eye jig head by Flea Fly right there. And you can see that flathead ate that. He ate that bait using a big pieces of cut gizzard shad. It's a quarter ounce jig head right there with a good hook on it. And I got a couple split shots right here, about two foot above my my jig head. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. I was not expecting a flathead. Absolutely not expecting it. But this fish was suspended above a brush pile and he came up out of there and ate it and i know you saw me lift the rod up and move it because i saw this fish coming up and i was just using that bait like a jig but it's live natural bait so that is amazing i don't know of anybody that i can tell you of that has live scoped a flathead now i wish this one would have been working but for whatever reason, my camera's dead right here. But it's really, really, really hard to see in this deep of water, in 40 foot of water. And I'm going to do more about live scope. But I'm going to tell you, you got to have maximum boat control. And even at that, it's still hard to see your bait in 40 foot of water. But hey, I'm going to get this old flathead, February flathead back down there. What a beautiful fish. Awesome, that made my day, y'all. Sweet. Wow, I live scoped a flathead. I was fishing for a blue cat, but I got a flathead. <laughs>